A lot is going on in the Democratic Republic of Congo as announcement of results in the country's December 30 presidential election resulted in violence and talks of a collusion with the sitting government. The Constitutional Court, which cut short President Joseph Kabila's ambition of running again in the polls, has less than 10 days to validate the Electoral Commission's announcement and swear in the new president. But at the point we're at, no one is really sure what will happen. The Electoral Commission president, Kanel Nangar, said Felix Tshisekedi received more than 7 million votes, compared to 6.4 million for Martin Fayulu and about 4.4 million for President Kabila's hand-picked candidate, Emmanuel Shadri. There were fears the result would fuel suspicion that Tshisekedi struck a power-sharing pact with Mr. Kabila, and many residents voiced concerns that a poll could lead to the same violence seen around elections in 2006 and 2011. The president-elect in his speech on Thursday, January 10th, paid his respect to outgoing President Joseph Kabila, whom he described as a partner in democratic change. Addressing his supporters, he said he would be the president of all Congolese. Out on the street of Kinshasa, thousands danced and celebrated the win. But runner-up in the election, Martin Fayulu dismissed the result announced and called on the election observers from the Catholic Church to reveal the name of the winner their vote counting produced. Chairs and jubilation were soon mixed with anger and uncertainty over the future. A clash with security forces in the town of Kikwit resulted in the death of at least five people, drawing international concern, especially from former colonial master Belgium. The Belgian Foreign Minister Didier Reinders indicated doubt the result gave the lead to Félix Tshisekedi. But he said Belgium now waited the Congolese people's reactions and that it was working on a contingency plan to protect foreigners in case violence occurred. The French Foreign Minister said France would wait to get clarity on the results, which are opposite of what they expected. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called on all sides to refrain from violence and to channel eventual electoral disputes through the established institutional mechanisms. The African Union leader Mustafa Kim Mohammed said in a statement, It is important that any disagreement over the proclaimed result, notably that they did not reflect voters' wishes, be resolved peacefully by turning to the relevant laws and through political dialogue between the parties involved. And South Africa's President Siri Ramaphosa called for reframe from speculations and for the country to allow the Electoral Commission to complete the process. The United States demanded clarification over the result while congratulating courageous Congolese voters. And the European Union said it was waiting for verdict of election monitors. To the press conference after the day. In the meantime, Martin Fayulu has filed a complaint to the Constitutional Court and the Palace of Justice. Okay. He said his lawyers had filed a complaint on Friday, January 11th, and called for a recount of the presidential votes. The court now has only a few days to rule on the complaint. Felix Tshisekedi, the son of veteran leader Etienne Tshisekedi, who died in 2017, has promised to make the fight against poverty his priority. He ran on his own ticket with the backing of politician Vital Kamere. That's our time on the program this week. Remember, you can reach us on Twitter using at Channel CV or at Amarachi underscore Ubani. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.